Um, hi, ladies. <laughs> Hello. Hey, how's it going? Hey, so good. Thank you so much. This is fun. Oh. Oh, listen, I bluffed it's fun. I'll, I'll try to make it even more fun. I, I promise. Um, first <laughs> off, okay. Luckily, I had uh, been familiar. I knew the book because I had read it. And so I knew that I needed to have a couple boxes of Kleenex next to me. So yeah, all set, all good. So Karen, I got to start with you because I have to ask, I mean, what was it like seeing this beloved book come to life? Can't even imagine. Well, there'd been a few other books of mine that were made into movies that I didn't have really anything to do with other than yeah. writing them. But this one, we opened Karen Kingsbury Productions because we wanted it to match. Like when I write a book, I feel like God puts us a movie on my heart and I can see it. I don't feel like I'm making it up. I don't feel, I feel these people feel real to me. So then it just pours out. Like I'm just like the first reader, just kind of like the stenographer that's just kind of capturing it for you. Right. And then when it came to something like this, like where I said, okay, I want to take someone like you and make it into a movie myself. Mm. So it wasn't a surprise to see how it turned out because I had my hand in, my heart in, uh, involved in every aspect from literally writing the script, right. you know, to casting. I mean, we had a casting director, we had an incredible producer we brought on, but I was there every day, every step of the way and even still. And so what I see now, literally, I cry for a different reason. I cry because it is exactly the movie that we wanted to make. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's nice when you can do something like that and have that kind of control. Um, so Sarah, no pressure for you then, right? Nah, no problem. No, not at all. Not even a little bit. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Um, okay. Tell me a little bit about that because you're going in, uh, clearly you're auditioning, you know, for London Andy, uh, it, you know, big pressure on your shoulders here to, to make Karen happy with her baby. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 100%. I mean, the, the entire process, the whole the whole auditioning process was so great. You know, I sent in a tape first and I was so excited because I love a challenge. And, you know, yeah, it's, it's always a challenge when you get a character to bring them to life and to find the best way to do that. What do you have to bring that that can really bring the character to life in the right way and in the way that they're they're hoping, um, you know, and to do that once is already a challenge, but to do it twice and to yes. do it both London and London was something I was I was really excited about. And when I got the chemistry read and knew that I, you know, I had, I was going to be meeting Jake Allen who plays Dawson Gage, who's phenomenal. And yeah. I was meeting Karen and Tyler Russell, the director. Honestly, we, we just had this really beautiful, magical, sparkly chemistry read with all of us. And again, it wasn't just the chemistry with Jake and I, it was also the chemistry with Karen and Tyler. We just had such an incredible experience. And again, you know, Karen, Karen just has written such an incredible, beautiful story with such unique, three-dimensional, interesting characters. So it was such an honor and so exciting yeah. to, to bring them to life the way that I could. And yeah, through and through the whole experience was, was just, it was such an honor to be a part of. Yeah. And I, it came out on screen, you know, like, listen, we know you from here, right? Like, whatever, I'm not going to blow, you know, what <laughs> your, you know, bought on your, you know, whatever. But I have to say, you're just so effervescent whenever you're on screen, even when, even when you're depressed or whatever, like, honestly, it's just a joy to watch <laughs> you. So honestly, you were so Thank good in this. Thank you so much. Uh, you're Thank welcome. you so much. A lot. Thank and you. You're welcome. But Karen, what was it about Sarah? Because I'm sure there were a lot of young ladies who who auditioned and really wanted this. Um, you know, like I say, she, she's amazing. I'm not surprised you went with her, but what stood out for you? So we looked at uh, three more than 3,000 young women who auditioned for this. That's a lot. And yeah. obviously, you know, I wanted to see them and I felt bad because I knew that a lot of them, it was like a pretty long, it was like a couple minutes that we were asking people to put on tape. And you know, sometimes I would get, I would literally feel so bad, but you'd be watching. I'd be like three seconds in going, no, 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 she's not it. No. And then, you know, at the end of the day, we had three that we did for chem reads, but I already knew. I mean, it's like you just said, Sarah has this effervescence. There's something about her, you know, actors, I, I you know, we've talked earlier today, we had other interviews and she's talking about, you know, two actors, like, how do you stay ready for that audition kind of thing? And to me, it's what she's not saying is almost even more important than what she's saying. For Look sure. at the joy that exudes from her eyes and her I mean, She is so beautiful and her childlike like gratitude and joy that she just carries with her as part of her, that when you give her a task, she's eyes wide open. 
I remember watching her work with the director and she was 100% teachable in every moment, as talented as she is. Mm -hmm. And uh, to me, you know, and then the chemistry read with her and Jake, I had already picked Jake because I knew him from something else. So he didn't have to go through that same, we just didn't have, we just didn't have an Andy London. It was like the most important thing. Of course. And the thing with Jake and Sarah is they're both talented. They're so talented that their chemistry came as much from just like a natural chemistry as much as it did from respect, this mutual respect that, well, you have chops and you're going to be a star. Like you're so talented. Yeah, but Sarah, come on. So it, was, it probably wasn't hard to be like looking in his eyes and going, you know, melting away. I mean, he's, he's a pretty good looking dude. I'm not even, you know, going to lie there, right? But but it it's so nice though, when you can connect with somebody like that, because look, you've been on sets before, you know, like sometimes you can get on your with a, uh, you know, co-star and go, God, how are we going to work together? But it, it felt to me like it was very real with you, Jake. Yeah, well, you know, I, 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 something I, I say when I talk about this is the interesting thing is we can walk on like a sidewalk and we can bump into two people. And for whatever reason, we just have more chemistry with one person. And that's just the nature of what it means to be human. Like that's not something we have much control over. And Jake and I were lucky that I think right off, right off the bat, again, just with our chemistry read, having never really had even an opportunity to talk much. Yeah. It was just something where it just, it just felt very there. And it was so fun to work with him because he's such a brilliant actor. So it was so fun to work with him. And on set, I think, you know, uh, Karen had spoken, had spoken to this as well in a, in a, a, another interview that, you know, we had this amazing luxury of two weeks of prep. We got to rehearse nice. for two weeks before we started filming. So Jake and I were really good friends by the time we started to, to actually shoot the movie and film the movie. And, um, and yeah, I think I think something above also just being friends is we I, I really feel like there was such a mutual respect. We both cared and we were so invested in mm. the story. And again, there's something when you're on a set and when you're involved in a story like one of Karen's stories where it doesn't feel like it in, not in the way that it's not challenging, but it doesn't feel like work or a job that we're going to every day. It feels like we're all a part of something bigger. Right. Um, and whether that be making people leave feeling happy, feeling hopeful, feeling the magic, feeling butterflies, feeling like they're crying, but they're smiling at the same time. Like that's what I love about our industry is that right there. So I yeah. think Jake and I cared so much about making sure that that was what we were leaving people with. And we cared so much that, yeah, it just, it just felt like such a mutual respect for, for the work. Yeah. You know, Sarah, I was wondering how you found your way in to, re to relate to Andy because, you know, what she goes through, um, I mean, Karen, clearly it's a real thing where people would freeze their embryos and then decide to sell it or whatever it is, or, you know, you know, these are real, real issues. So which you probably researched before you did the book, wrote the book, I would think, but Sarah, to find your way in, I mean, you have a good loving family, you know, you got siblings, you, so thank God in real life, it's not something you can relate to, but, but, but the trauma that this girl goes through, like I, I was kind of struggling a little bit because God, she really like, she was pissed off. Yes. She had every right to be, but then you got to look at it from the parent side of side of it, that who adopted her, like they gave her a good life. It's not like she was abused or anything like that. So, you know what I mean? How, how do you find your way in to kind of connect to her? Well, I think I think the big thing is no matter what role you're playing, you, I can go so drastic with those examples, but you could play any role under the sun. And I don't have to have had, you know, from, from my experience and from my perspective on it, I, I'm, I go, okay, cool. I don't need to experience anything similar to what this character has experienced. But if I break it all down and I go to the core in, in their heart, in their center, like what is that thing? For them, and so for her, for Andy, you know, whether it, whether it's a, a mix of things, but feeling very alone in the mm, world, and yeah. then also feeling a sense of loss, and not just loss in in what she what she believed and thought was what her life looked like, but also within herself, and what does this mean? And again, of course, we come to find family is whatever it feels like to you. Who of course. we it's family is 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 love, and love is all the things. So. It's going, but in that moment when she was kind of hit with this and she was trying to figure out what that meant and what it looked like, all I, Sarah, have to really be able to relate to is have I, have I felt alone? Have I felt oh, moments where I feel like I've lost a piece of who I am and I'm trying to course. figure out who, and yeah. I've gone through all of that 
So I can break it all down and go, oh, I so get on a very deep level what she's feeling right now and what she's trying to figure out about herself and about her world and what it looks like. And then, of course, the beauty and all of it that she finds in the end with everybody, um, you know, is such a beautiful end, yeah. end result of all of that. Yeah, I agree. So, Karen, I, I want to ask you, because clearly the book is such a huge hit. I'm sure the movie will be, too. I'm not even worrying about that. But why do you think readers connected with this story and will likely connect with the film? What do you think? Well, it's something that the biological mom, you know, Louise, that she says toward the middle end of the movie where she says, the world is divided enough, Andy, and you don't want your family divided, too. I feel like this book came out, you know, early in the pandemic. Um, that was obviously not the plan. That we didn't write it with the pandemic in mind. Of course. But the pandemic added another layer of, of you know, a, a divisive spirit to really the world. You know, whether whatever it might be. I mean, there were just two sides to pretty much every topic you could imagine, and that was dividing families too. And I think, you know, it doesn't matter if it's, and in this case, it was embryo adoption and keeping a secret that probably should have been told a long time ago. But for somebody else, you know, it's a disagreement about a politics or a whatever it would be. And it's just time to set it aside. You know, it's time to, and I, I think I love the, one of the things I love the most about Dawson is that, you know, he never meant to fall in love. He was just trying to find the brother or sister that was related yeah. to London but along the way, when he finds this girl and he's like starting to fall for her, he knows that the right thing to do is to love her home. Right. To love her enough that she goes and forgives these people. He says, you know, I know what it is to watch parents lose a child. Mm -hmm. Your parents made a big mistake, but right now you're the only one who can fix it. And yeah. that, that's why this book is resonating, I believe, with so many people. And, and the trailer has just gone viral on TikTok and on YouTube. Um, and it's I tremendous. You know, it's like it's hitting a nerve for people, but I think it's one that will leave them with so much hope. I agree. It is so beautiful, honestly. And, and Sarah, you did such a wonderful job. And you know what? If this acting thing doesn't work out for you, I say go work at the Toronto Zoo. I mean, right? <laughs> you know, I've thought about it. <laughs> at the grass. <laughs> It's, yeah, I'm so a veterinarian, you know, so I mean, like, I've grown up with like, all these animals and stuff, and I'm saying, <laughs> my job is, is working in the zoo, so I thought, you know, thank you very it. much. It works for you. <laughs> it works for just, just an attempt to your great <laughs> acting that you, that you are, the great actress that you are, but congratulations, lady, th lady, thank you so much for your time today. Really, really appreciate it, and best of luck with the film. It's just, it's beautiful, really, really is, and Sarah, you've done such a wonderful job, so congratulations. Uh, thank, thank you so much, much Bonnie. You're very bye. welcome. You're very welcome. Have a nice day. Take care. You too. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks, Bonnie.